Hey, how's it going? Great to see you guys again. Now, somebody's asked me recently, what's the best setup for live streaming at a small church or similar gathering to that? And, well, that's quite a broad question. I've come up with two possible solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you the first one. Now, this is going to be using the Blackmagic ATM Mini and a few cameras and some other bits and pieces. Stick around and see what I've got. Now before I get started on this, just a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and all those other buttons down there, and if you've got any questions during the video, put them into the comment section below, I will get back to you and answer those. So let's get stuck straight into looking at my first setup for your church or meeting or other sort of event, a town council sort of thing, anything you want, where you've got a group of people and you want to present something and you want to live stream it, this is a really good setup that will work for you very easily. It's something that you can transport in a small case, set up in a few minutes and have running um, with very little power requirements or cabling or anything like that. And it just works really well. In fact, I use it all the time for doing these vlogs. The core of it is this thing here. This here is the ATEM Mini. It's an awesome little device that I use all the time for my own video recording and mixing. It has four HDMI inputs and they can be any HDMI source so it could be video or something from a computer and this is one of the cameras I've got hooked up to it at the moment and um, here's that one that I was just showing you just on a, a little arm here that I can swing around. What it means is that you can have a variety of cameras that don't necessarily need to be matched doing different jobs all around an area and your only restriction is that you need an HDMI cable to run between them all. I've also got this little thing here which I can use as a roaming camera. I like to have a mobile camera when I'm doing this sort of stuff as well because it means that I can just point and shoot at all sorts of things. The fourth input that I sometimes use is from a computer and with that I can do graphics, overlays, slideshows, all that sort of thing and just run seamlessly because it just treats the AT Mini down here as another output, um, another HDMI source, another video source and away you go. The other thing you've got on the ATEM Mini is a still frame thing here, so you can insert a graphic using the software that controls this, and then when you want it, you can bring that graphic up. You could even have another person that swaps these graphics in and out for you. So this could be a, hey, we're waiting to go live screen, or it could be a thanks for having watched this, or we're taking a break for a little while, graphics like that. It could also be charts or any sorts of things that you want, any sort of graphic that fits on a 16 by nine screen. You can plonk that in here and it can be part of your live broadcast just by loading it in and then hitting that still key. That's just another image that's available as another HDMI source. A still image as an HDMI source. It's a, a really powerful tool, a very simple thing to have on here. So that's basically it. We've got the Blackmagic ATM Mini in the center here. I've got some monitors. I've got an HDMI cable set up onto the cameras and you can use any sort of camera, whether it's um, a Sony camera like this one I've got here, the main camera I've got, or it could be this camera that's sitting up here, which is a little point and shoot. Or it can be this camera here, which is a, a relatively cheap handy cam you can pick up for a couple of hundred dollars. Very, very simple. And this A10 Mini itself, you can pick up for about 500 New Zealand dollars. It's about 250 to 300 US dollars. It's the first A10 Mini. It's very functional. It does an awesome amount of great things. And um, between all of this, I guess if you're talking in New Zealand dollars, you could spend about, say, uh, $600 and uh, another $600 on a few of these simple cameras and um, have a, a laptop or whatever it is that you're working with. And once you've got all of that stuff together, you've probably spent about um, two or three thousand dollars including all the cabling and maybe some cheap tripods and things. And you've got an awesome live streaming kit. So there you go. Also, you might find that a lot of these things people have got lying around and you just need the A10 Mini at the middle of it to make it work. Now, to get these things actually online and to be streaming, that's as simple as opening up YouTube and going live because the A10 Mini here outputs a webcam stream via USB and that goes straight to your computer and you can just plug that in and say it's a webcam stream to the YouTube or to Twitch or to wherever it is that you want to 
send this out to and it's just going to work straight off the bat just one quick note on all of this though it's very easy to grab these things i mean people in your organization or where you are or in your church or whatever are going to have these little cameras and you can get them to bring them along if you can't buy them all straight away but one thing you're going to need to have a very careful think about is the audio a lot of these big rooms and halls and meeting rooms and everything are very live and if you're just running off the camera microphones people are going to be at different distances and everything so you need to be a bit careful about how you're going to handle audio now you do have audio on the cameras which is a great thing but you want to think about a couple of other things that you can use and so on the back of the ATM mini it's got two audio inputs just down the back here you can kind of see them if I point the camera around here I've got one microphone plugged into one already and that's this microphone up here and it's the Rode Video Mic Micro. This is a fantastic little shotgun mic. It's directional. You can put it anywhere. It's very easy to transport and um, you can just run a, a cable from it down to the back of the ATM Mini very easily. And that's a very, very useful microphone and very high quality if you've got a mic that you can put within cable distance of someone who's talking. If you've got somebody at the far end of a hall from you, however, um, it might be a preacher or somebody running a meeting or somebody on stage giving a performance of some sort then you're going to want something that's got a bit more range and that's where this comes into play this is he says pulling the cable out of the noisy packet the uh, Rode Wireless Go set now this is a sender and receiver microphone this part here has got a little microphone right up in the top of it right in here and um just use this cable here to plug the receiver directly into the Blackmagic ATEM Mini. Um, that gives you a wireless microphone. You can plug a lapel mic into the top of that one as well and hook it up onto your collar. Or it's got that neat little clip there that will just sit there underneath your bed so nobody can see it and you're away laughing. This here is a fantastic solution that you can plug into the back of the ATEM Mini as an, as an additional audio source and you can choose the audio sources that you're currently using on the ATM using the buttons on the top of it. It's just these buttons here. So we've got audio 1 and audio 2 in here and you can set the gain level on it and you can turn them on and off. Down here you've got the audio on each channel. Once again you can turn it on or off. You can reset it all. Um, you can also set it to follow the audio it's got this little button up here it's AV and it's audio follows video AFV and what you can do is if you click that on each channel then the, the camera, camera that, that is, is currently, currently live, live will, will also, also be, be feeding, feeding audio, audio which is why you can hear a bit of a weird, weird echo, echo at the moment. moment most of the time I'm just using the Rode video mic micro up here because it's just really convenient for me and I'm pretty much staying in the same place and the same distance from it if I'm moving away from the camera and I'm shooting outdoors or something, I'll use this because it's not convenient for me to have a cable running between me and I don't have to worry about it because I can just plug this thing straight up under here and why laughing. But if you've got a setup with multiple cameras and people are all around the room, that's okay. You can use the camera microphones or put directional microphones on the cameras if you want to go that far. And all sorts of setups like this and it will work perfectly well the audio coming in on each channel is great and it gives you lots of things to select from you might want to get a little bit of practice in um, switching between them of course but that's an easy thing to do a few goes at it and you'll wonder why you haven't been doing it your whole life I've got another video coming up very soon which is doing all of the same sort of thing but all wirelessly so wireless cameras over HDMI it's not using the ATM mini it's using a virtual switcher on your laptop or on your PC so called OBS and you're love, gonna love how this works with that um, everything's going to be wireless there so do hit the subscribe button here to make sure you don't miss out on that one and in the meantime you can also watch this video and this video here because they're awesome and they're going to help you develop the things that you're doing just like this one does have a good day and I will see you in the next video see you later